In addition to our backyard garden, we have a small front yard garden where we grow in containers and three small raised beds. One big advantage of the front yard is that it gets much more direct sun, which makes it a great place to grow sun-loving summer crops like peppers, tomatillos, and eggplants. I don't often show the front yard garden because it's difficult to shoot video out there with all the traffic and other distractions, but today I'll give it a try. Let's go take a look. Several years ago, we got rid of our front lawn by sheet mulching it with cardboard and wood chips. We planted many of our favorite ornamentals, but at the time didn't plant any food crops. Over the years, we've gradually planted more edibles, starting with perennial herbs and later adding summer annuals in grow bags and raised beds. Let's start today's tour with some of our perennial ornamentals. We grow a number of different varieties of coral bells and have several lungwort plants. My understanding is that the leaves of both plants are edible but we grow them because we like the way they look. In the center of the garden, we have Asiatic lilies, which are currently in bloom. We look forward to seeing these beauties every year. Now let's look at what's growing next to the house. We have two different kinds of butterfly weed, which is a species of milkweed that attracts butterflies, especially monarchs. This pink one, and this stunning orange butterfly weed. Next to the butterfly weed is a burning bush, which will turn a beautiful crimson color in the fall. We have a number of other ornamentals growing, but let's turn our attention to the crops. Here's the first of 10 eggplants. I think this is a Japanese white egg. We're also growing black beauties and little fingers. Most were planted in seven gallon grow bags. Right behind it, we're growing onions, leeks, and basil in a galvanized steel raised bed, which is three feet in diameter. These plants are all doing better than they ever did in the backyard garden, where there's much less direct sun. We're letting some of the onions flower and go to seed. Between this raised bed and the next one, we have more eggplants in grow bags. We use a potting mix that is roughly 25% vermicompost from our worm bins. The rest of the mix is some combination of reused potting mix, new commercial potting mix, and topsoil or sand. We don't use any additional fertilizer. Okay, next is our second raised bed where we're growing more onions and leeks. There's also some volunteer purslane in the bed and volunteer dill. If you ever see these guys munching on your dill or parsley, these are black swallowtail butterfly caterpillars. We love the butterflies, so we just let them munch away on our dill. Around the back, we have two of our four tomatillo plants. Both of these are supposed to be purple tomatillos, but the plants and fruit look a little bit different. Coming around the corner, there's a 10 gallon smart pot with sweet potatoes. I'll install a teepee trellis for the greens to climb soon. We eat both the greens and the sweet potatoes. Finishing up this area, we have more tomatillos and eggplants. We're also growing some of our peppers here, but most are on our front steps, which I'll show you in a minute. We're also growing perennial herbs in the ground in the front yard garden, including sage, hyssop. Those are sweet potatoes, not herbs. And finally, we have two of our favorite herbs, oregano and chives. I'll be using both of these herbs in tonight's dinner. Every year I add more edibles to the front yard garden, and one of this year's new additions is scarlet runner beans, which I'm growing in a 10 gallon smart pot. Scarlet runner beans have pretty scarlet flowers and are sometimes grown as ornamentals. We like the beans too. Mature beans taste a lot like lima beans. They're climbers, so we'll grow them up this lattice trellis. Now let's take a look at what's growing in the parkway. Here we have a raised bed planted with more sweet potatoes, which are just getting started now that it's summer. We'll start harvesting the leaves soon, and we'll dig up the potatoes before our last frost. The last stop on today's tour is our front steps where we're growing most of our peppers. We have peppers in grow bags all the way up the steps and at the top of the steps. We plant two peppers in each seven gallon grow bag. This may not be optimal spacing in terms of production per plant, but we get higher production overall by growing more plants. One big advantage of growing peppers in black grow bags on concrete is that it creates a nice warm microclimate that enables us to extend the growing season a bit. The black bags absorb more heat 
and the large concrete mass acts as a heat sink, storing up heat during the day and slowly releasing it at night. This keeps our plants nice and warm on cool nights. Now let's head back to the backyard garden. Hey Oscar. Hey boy. Let's go out back. Let's go out back Oscar. Good boy. I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of the front yard garden. As we close I'll share more pictures out front. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to. Let's go inside, bud. You ready? Come on. Come on, Oscar. Good boy.